good afternoon good morning good evening wherever you are in the world uh, welcome back to zebra kitchen now I'm going to show you how I make my tomato soup yes I of recent I've got so many tomatoes in my garden as I can show you I grew different types of tomatoes in my garden I have these big ones and I have small ones which are called cherry tomatoes depending where you are in the world it could be called something different so the basics and this is all I need for my tomato uh, soup uh, that one um, uh, basil will be just for garnishing later basil or basil or whatever you pronounce it I'm one African please forgive me Basil, so um, so I will use that for garnishing the on the top when the tomato soup is all cooked and done. So I will use uh, real butter, some tomato puree, not all that can, and I'll use some uh, vegetable cube stock to make sure that yes, uh, to give it um, uh, that that uh, scent texture. Uh, I won't put any salt at all because I'll use only that because I don't want to put more, too much salt because already the stock cube has salt. And now I have, I have onions which will I'll do with the butter. And then I have uh, red peppers. So once everything is cooked, I will um, uh, blend it. But the next process now, I'm going to boil a kettle to make sure that the tomatoes go in hot water I take the skin off yes I know if I had on all the big tomatoes then that would have been easier but because I have small tomatoes then I can't really get away from it I'll have to do this what I have so or what you can do uh, you can you may not take the skin off wash the tomatoes make sure they all wash properly boil them because when you mash them up then you drain the juice but I think for me that way I think you lose more of your tomato so it's up to you what is easier for you what you make for your children or your family you may not be having a family you maybe you have a partner or maybe for your own good you make your own food this channel Zebra Kitchen is here just to let people know you can make it cheaper by cooking by yourself by yourself and for yourself at the moment these tomatoes i have if i ask any of you to tell me how much do you think these tomatoes cost me mm -hmm. i'm sure most of you are going to come up with a price which i don't even understand but maybe i do understand it but these tomatoes no i want that question in my comment and then i'll tell you the truth yes i'll tell you the truth and um, yes, I want uh, people to and to tell me how much do they think I paid for all these ingredients, which will fit my my children, are teenagers. They eat so much, and, and I don't like to feed them canned food. And canned food is actually more expensive. And I even I don't know what is in that canned food. By the way, when you're cooking this, you can easily easily maybe squeeze in a potato to make it thicker depending on what how thick you want your your tom your tomato so soup to be but for me i have the tomato puree that will do the job and um, if you don't have tomato puree as i said i suggest you can put in you can put in a potato mash it down with it and everything will be like nice lovely and thick so we're going to start cooking now i'm going to wash this bad boys and put them on a cooker and then I start cooking yes that's there I'll show you the whole process when it is all done uh, this, I'm making a tomato soup today and I uh, hope we you can see very well the tomato soup is uh, completely getting on the stage at the moment I'm, I'm sweating my onions in butter this is a type of butter I've used uh, although I've used all the whole other chunk in here and I'll be using half of that once this is all cooked uh, so I'm going to put in my tomatoes uh, I use uh, two stock cubes I use two stock cubes in there they are stock cubes from they are 
little stock cubes but the cheap ones uh, they're not cheap but the vegetarian ones I don't like to spend too much money because of a brand I buy something because it is suitable for me and my family so so the onions are now done very well done and um, the cubes are in there those are the only ingredients I'm going to put in there I put garlic in there uh, put garlic so garlic onion and stock cube and now I'm going to start introducing the tomatoes they're all washed and very clean and they're now going in I've put them in with the skin because for me I think if I crush them uh, once once they're done I'll crush them then I'll do the juice but uh, when I finish getting the juice of the tomato a little bit thicken it up with half of that can uh, tomato puree but I will take you through the whole process of how everything is gonna work so I start introducing in my tomatoes and um, so I have peppers here as well I've got some peppers so I have some peppers as well you can see red pepper there I put pepper so you put whatever you have please don't feel obliged don't feel obliged to put what I have put you can use you can use um, a potato in there to make it thicken up rather than tomato puree so I I'm using I'm putting the red pepper in there you can put a carrot if you wish to because carrot is the same color as the this so it's not very close but it's not far away out it's not something like in um, uh, maybe if I put in what should I say? What is totally different from tomatoes is not the same color. In whatever you think of, yes, please. Uh, don't. Um, so, so I put two red peppers in here, and I put all the tomatoes in here. And uh, the only herbs I'll be using will be will be um, the basil. For garnishing and not when cooking so uh, when I finish my end I'll be using this tomato puree to thicken up my uh, tomato sauce a uh, tomato soup which I'm making now and the tomato soup will be thickened up with this so and uh, I've used uh, stock cube um, I've used vegetable stock here yeah you can see that clearly you don't have to buy the most expensive one you can buy a cheap one um, that this is my butter I'm using today and that's the type of butter I'm using uh, yes I get this from either little Sainsbury or I can get it even as the and even uh, Audi so this butter is available everywhere but for me I use pure butter I don't compromise on anything because I don't like to use things halfway halfway but that's if that's the way you feel you can do that that then you do that way okay thank you uh, hello this is uh, the tomato soup is done I'm going to purify it and if you don't have a purifier to make it uh, like go completely like you make it um, very purified um, you can eat it like this or you can add a little bit more of chunks of stuff but as I showed you at the beginning this was uh, just tomatoes and onions stirred around and now I've cooked the made tomato soup either if you your children don't like uh, don't like the the chunks in the tomato so you can take it out uh, or if they do you can serve it like this but if they don't then sieve it or purify it put it in a blender uh, purifying means like you put it in a blender something makes it more liquidier so I don't know whether that's a word I've just made it up liquidier like <laughs> it might go in the dictionary <laughs> Oh, very nice hope <laughs> yes I'll make it a uh, liquidy so I'll put uh, I'll blend it and then it I'll make it like everything goes like um, completely like liquid or oh, I'll serve it this way serve it with bread serve it with anything but this is my tomato my tomato soup made for today and uh, yeah so yeah 
enjoy 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 it's really so tasty I've, I've asked everybody in the house yeah that's the pepper there I've asked everybody how to test it everybody says it's amazing it's amazing it's amazing very sorry my dishwasher is going um sorry 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 but yes that's done now I'm going to let it cool down before I put it in the machine to blend it uh, I'll give it as much time as I can and when I, I blend it I may show you but I have to show you the last uh, product but yeah that's all cooked now oh look how it looks oh my god I wish you can test it this smells amazing the scent is just like ooh, I want to eat it's now with bread ooh, crusty bread uh, any anything called crusty just dip it in there and just eat it actually this is something uh, people from uh, countries like Turkey they do as a family this will be put on a very big a bowl not plate a bowl big bowl and then you mm -hmm. all sit around with homemade bread bread not bread <laughs> not bread the one we plate in Africa with the hair no bread 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 so the uh, homemade bread uh, there will be a, a party like a party or party uh, people in the family who will be making the bread people will be making the soup people will be making other things so this will be like a starter so you all sit down everybody has played their part so the one who's cooking rice the one who's cooking meat the one who's cooking, everything is cooked everybody's finished everyone is done their duty the men i'm back home so this is put on the table in a big bowl and then you all eat from the sides of your of your corner you you put your bread your, your bread in there you eat you eat your bread in there you eat and then another meal which is supposed to be served as dinner or maybe lunch or whatever then it will be served that will be anything to do the traditional the traditional and then the dessert will be served so that's that's how the the family peoples play actually tuck people touch people they do live like the kind of africans or you ugandans like batuku like me when you get married you get married to another family but when you marry you marry to bring into your family i don't know whether that makes sense so uh, so that's how it works actually that's the way they do so so in this the family one family the one compound family may have like about five boys they'll have all their wives so but every person when they, it's time for cooking they all have duties unless somebody is sick or they're breastfeeding or something but unless than that their um, the mother-in-law is a head chef she will always be able to tell them what to cook when who wants what who needs what and what can they prepare today she's like the kind of person who prepares the menu anyway we will talk about that when we're in Turkey we are soon going to go there and we'll show you a video from there and the local people and they'll tell you the way their culture work the ones I've met anyway the ones I've met I'm not saying the whole Turkey behaves that way that's why I'm saying even us uh, uh batuku we are we, 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 from, we are we are from uganda but not every ugandan behaves that way nothing to buli as mwana mulenza azali do asigala kuluja aleta muchara abantu mulabiye kampala busoga wawona buli omu yetongola nage na nawera uwe no babera kumpingana naita abera wamu na yate wafe obutuku nyenze nyondo mtukaz ndi mtukaz nendo gabutuku omutuku obo kubo oswiri no swerwa no genda wo waiva wa kuswiri wo kuba no no swera no leto omkazi mak ago aga aga agaso hati niwe na kuba sai wa fir ni uno twara twara vunanze bo korak twara ente amagana okubera ni uno twara bikimkiona ke gonzo eh eh nyondo mtukaz so this is our soup is done and uh, yeah it's ready to be eaten enjoy to make this soup with me and i'm glad you, you uh, attended to be to it and thank you very much for all your time you've given in to watch this video many thanks thanks for watching zebra kitchen i appreciate so very much have a great day have a great evening and have a good night